Hi. Just like teamwork, good sportsmanship is another thing that people in physical education and sports claim is valuable outside of the field, ring, or court. Let's start with defining sportsmanship as the conduct and attitude of participants in sports, especially when considered commendable as in fair play, courtesy, and grace at losing. So that's one definition, but there are others, and people interpret them differently. Here's my interpretation of the three parts mentioned in the definition, fair play, courtesy, and grace in losing. We'll start with fair play. Basically, you play by the rules. You don't cheat. If you see that an opponent is being treated unfairly, you say something. So why bother? Why should this matter in sports or outside of sports? That's easy. No one likes to be cheated. And when people see that you follow the rules, you begin to earn their trust. People learn that they can rely on you to behave in a way that is consistently fair. Given time, people treat you with the respect that you've earned. Now, what about courtesy? In sports, it's as simple as not yelling at your opponents or the refs. It could also be shaking someone's hand after competition. Being polite isn't mandatory in life, but it makes life easier when you get along with other people. Also, it shows that you don't let your emotions get the best of you. Again, when people see this, it's yet another way to earn respect, whether you're playing sports or just living your life. The last part of this definition is grace in losing. In other words, don't be a sore loser. Yeah, you shouldn't like to lose, but at the same time, crying about it doesn't help you, and it shows weakness on your part. Athletes understand that someone has to lose, and when you lose, it's an opportunity to learn and train harder. Besides, with sports, it's a game. It's not like anyone is likely to die when they lose. So take it for what it is, a learning experience. Learn from it. Don't cry about it. Now, this wasn't mentioned in the definition, but I personally include not giving up as part of good sportsmanship. The more you push toward giving 100%, even when you're losing, the better you're going to become. Also, you never know what's going to happen. Someone could drop that pop-up in baseball, and because you didn't run, now you look foolish. You might be in last place in a race, but all of a sudden, people ahead of you might bump into each other and stumble. There's your chance. If you give it 100%, you're more likely to win, and if you still don't win, you're that much closer to winning next time. Okay, that's it for now. Next time we'll talk about a controversial topic, competition. I'll see you then. So what happens now? We face each other as God intended. Sportsman life. No tricks, no weapons.